Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. Today we're going to talk about hot wire cladding of pipe for sour service applications. As many of you know, we've been building hot wire cladding systems for valves and chokes since the 90s. During those early years, folks were working on how to solve the same problem in pipe. The problem on pipe is you're having to reach up to 40 feet deep into diameters around 5 inch or even less. And it was a tough application. So people were trying gas metal arc, they tried extruding pipe, a lot, a lot of different applications. And it became apparent that probably hot wire TIG was going to be the uh, technique of choice for fatigue problems. And we were asked by a, a good friend of ours, uh, Charlie, to see if we could improve upon the state of the art. The problem being is the systems that were in existence were using stringer beads. And the reason they use stringer beads is because they're mounting the torches on cables. Well, with cables, it's easy to disturb the torch. And with gas junction arc welding, you're needing to hold that torch accurately within, you know, a few thousandths of an inch. So mounting them on cables doesn't lend itself to that. So the first thing we did is we started to use a technique that I used way back in the early 80s on a nuke job. We used outboard steady rest. This allowed us to oscillate because if you oscillate, you can put down the same amount of metal per hour, which is deposition rate, which is efficiency, but you can rotate much more slowly. Now, the problem with stringer beads is when you're rotating very fast, you tend to outrun your gas shield, and then you get a lot of oxides. I think we've already proven that most of the inconel defects that you'll ever see are oxide inclusions. So our goal was to reduce the surface speed and avoid these oxide inclusions, and, and we did pretty well with it. So we started building these machines and we also identified another problem. Everybody has to work to NACE or National Association of Corrosion Engineers, MRO 175 spec, which says you have to use two layers. The second layer is just to guarantee that you don't have any non-clad areas. And the way to do this is to actually build two torches into the same machine. So our first torch lights up, second torch then lights, and we achieve two layers, a minimum of three millimeters thick with less than 5% iron and a single passive. It's an efficient technique. And we were pleasantly surprised to find that with these wide beads and the oscillation, we're also able to do induction bending rather easily with very, very few defects. So I'm, I'm pleased with this project. It's a great application. It's a good example of why we go to the lab first to determine how a well should be made before we start to build the machine. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.